Protesters at this week's summit in Montebello are accusing police of trying to incite violence. Video on YouTube shows union officials confronting three men they say were police officers dressed up as demonstrators. One of the men is holding a rock. As Steve Fisher reports, the union is demanding to know if the Prime Minister's office was involved in trying to discredit the demonstrators. Said undercover officers infiltrated protests at Montebello this week. Police are facing new accusations. They have overstepped the thin blue line. Here's Peter Harris. When the Montebello protest turned ugly earlier this week, a clash between the police and protesters was expected. But what wasn't expected was this. Three Quebec police officers caught on YouTube wearing masks, carrying rocks, and posing as protesters. Denying it all at first, the Surité de Québec now admit that the masked men are their own. It was stunning video posted on the internet for all to see, and it came with a charge that police masqueraded as protesters at this week's Montebello summit to incite violence. Tonight, an equally stunning admission from Quebec's provincial police. Susan Bonner reports. Busted. Three Quebec provincial police officers, identities masked, one carrying a huge rock, hey, the rock down? nabbed for infiltrating a peaceful protest at Montebello. The tip-off came from a union leader who noticed riot police standing by despite the obvious weapon. He accused the men of being undercover cops trying to provoke a riot and end the protest. The men were removed but never charged. After two days of questions, the Sûreté de Québec issued a news release late today confirming, yes, the men are police officers, but denying they were agents provocateurs, claiming they were sent in to identify and stop trouble. They say the police refused to throw stones, committed no crime, and were there to maintain order and security. There's a serious issue about pol proper police conduct here. Criminal lawyer Lawrence Greenspawn has defended protesters for decades. He says it's time for politicians to act. I think the people that represent us in the legislature should be looking at some form of legislation that says, wait a second, this is not a, a proper use of police resources and we should be setting guidelines. Activists have argued for years that police try to thwart their legal right to protest by trying to incite aggression so they can move in and take protesters away. They say they do it even when demonstrators gather in a designated area, as these mostly unionists were in Montebello. And they say politicians tacitly endorse it. This is the face of it, where people can't even ask a question without, trying, without having to face these kinds of goons. The Supreme Court has ruled protesters have the right to be seen and heard. Tonight, both the Quebec and federal governments are facing calls to do more to police the police. Susan Bonner, CBC News, Ottawa.